Can we do a little WCW rapid fire? I'll mention some names. First thing Absolutely. that comes to your head. I mean, you, yeah. you want to go 10, 10 minutes each name. I don't care. I'm just saying. It could be the first thing that comes to your head. Boom. Ric Flair. You got it. Ric Flair. The champ. The champ. Hulk I mean, Hogan. Hulk Oops, Hogan. Sorry. Hulk Hogan is the icon. The icon of professional wrestling, period. DDP? DDP? Uh, hard worker. Nobody's going to outwork DDP. Constant motivator. Yeah. Scott Steiner. Scott Steiner, intense. Just intensity personified, but a much nicer guy than anybody gives him credit for. Nice. Buff Bagwell. Buff Bagwell. If you can see past the arrogance, the nicest guy in the world. <laughs> and I mean that wholeheartedly. Yeah, I mean that, I mean that genuinely. You know, he, he was extremely arrogant and 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 very cocky, but if you saw past that and just saw that that's he, him being him the nicest guy in the world yeah i had him on he came on my show last week so yeah. that was nice of him uh lex luger lex luger i'm glad that lex turned his life around he was the personification of arrogance in wcw and i don't we never had a cross word but he he just really acted like he thought he was better than everyone then and i'm glad to see him really having such a change in his life of being home booker t Oh, the man, money, money. He's Mr. Charisma, Mr. Athleticism, everything, man. Booker T was the total package of a wrestler. Uh, Scott Hall. Scott Hall, great mind in wrestling, underrated mind, and so much bigger than he, one of the best big men I ever saw in the business because he could work like a small guy and was much bigger and he got credit for because you're always hanging out with the seven-footer. Nobody realizes <laughs> you're 6'10". Do you know what's something about Scott? When he was Razor, he'd get changed right next to the job guys. I used to do TV yeah. all the time. He'd sit, sit right next to you, ask you how your day's going. He was yep. – love Scott Hall. Scott Hall what sat about? in a restaurant one time and, and gave a dissertation for about an hour and 45 minutes on how to work a punch in a match. Wow. And it was it was like it's like listening to a master class lecture. He had such a great mind for the business beyond what anybody ever thought or realized. Last name, what can you tell me about Chris Benoit? Chris Benoit, if there were any way in the world to ever take the tragedy of what happened off the table, I would have nothing but glowing things to say about Chris Benoit as a worker, as a person, you know, as a hard worker, you know, the intensity. Obviously, I recognize you can never divorce those two things, but Chris was another one of those guys that I was able to get to know and call a friend because – he was so close with Brad Armstrong, Brad and Chris were pretty close and had done Japan together and everything else. And, uh, and Brad had had a lot of respect for him. And I remember when all that happened and the tragedy occurred, um, Brad was close enough with Chris that he was one of the guys that people magazine called for a few words in an interview. And I remember talking to Brad not long after that. Same way with Chavo, by the way. Chavo would probably feel the same way about Chris. If I'm not putting words in the mouth, but I, I, I would imagine. And Brad said to me, he, he said, he said, you know, Lash, I just can't see him that way because that's just not the Chris that I knew. Right. So I'm not denying anything, and I'm certainly not trying to dismiss the tragedy that those that the family has had to have had gone through through all of that. Man, it's so horrible, so terrible. That's just not the Chris I knew. The Chris I knew would bring Nancy to the show, would bring, uh, you know, his son to the show, and had this kid, man, wearing suits back backstage and had told him that if one of the boys walked up to the monitor while he's sitting there watching the show, he needs to get up with the older guy, sit down out of respect and look at him, shake your hand. I mean, he seemed like such a family guy. And I think that that's what has fueled so many conspiracy theories over the years is because it's just something you cannot fathom. You cannot fathom. Um, I'll say this about that whole situation. Just like we kind of glossed lightly over earlier that there's guys in this business that have like drug issues and dependency problems and things like that to such an extent that you go nicest guy in the world i love him he's my brother but if he right. od'd tomorrow and i got that call i'm not going to be shocked right right because you think you know them 
Right. Chris, I don't know anybody in the wrestling business that knew Chris Benoit that heard that story and go, no, that can't be right. That doesn't check out. What? Mm -hmm. What? No. What? It's so hard to wrap your mind around. So hard. Mm -hmm. 